I started hating my job when my boss told me that I wasn't allowed to have my birthday vacation to Disney. And from there, it's only gotten worse. Hey guys, it is Amber, and today we're going to be talking about something a bit more serious today. So, this is going to be about the job that I work at currently in retail. I'm not going to say the company's name, but just know that it's a place with a heart and they care about their customers. <laughs> okay, so there's going to be some, I, I have my computer because I, I literally broke down everything. So if you see me glancing down at that, that's why. I just, there's a lot and I, I wouldn't have been able to say it from my head. Like, I wouldn't have been able to go up from it and because then I'd just be all over the place. I'd be rambling and ranting and it wouldn't be pretty. So, so let's start off with some background information. Don't mind my cats. I'm sorry. When I didn't make my bed, I'm sorry. It's just, it's been a day. So let's start off with some background information. I am a shift supervisor and we have five, we had five other shift supervisor at the start of this. Recently, we hired two more cashiers our store manager specifically picked them out, like he did me after I had an ankle surgery. I came in there and oh my god, can you shut up? Bruh, who in, who in the thinks that that sounds cool because uh, no, but um, what was I? Okay, so I had my surgery, I was on crutches, I came into the CVS, I saw him and he said, Oh, you're working right now. I'm like, oh, no, where I kind of had to leave because I had surgery and I'm going to be out for about a few months because I can't walk. Oh, well, um, you should apply here. I'll get you an interview. And that's why I started working there. So, yeah. And, and for preference, preference, for preference, this is specific to my store and not totally the company as a whole. So yes, let's start at the beginning. The first red flag was in the first few days. One of the other shifts, we'll, we'll call her Carrie. We're not going to say any real names because I don't want any backlash to these people, if there's backlash to me, that's fine. I don't care. So she didn't get along with one of the other ship supervisors. Her name is Sam. We're going to call her Sandra. Sandra was newer. Carrie had been with the company for about three to four years, while Sandra had been there for about seven months at the time when I got hired. So to start off with the problems that we have with Sandra is she doesn't listen to anyone. She does things her own way, even if it's not the way that our store wants us to do it or how our store manager wants us to do it. Like even if we try to tell her and show her or even change it for her, she won't change it back. Like she'll even do that to us when we're doing our own things and she sees that it isn't the way that she wants it. Like literally, she did that to my deposit once. But that, 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 we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that at the end. Well, a little bit later, but not the end. So, yeah. And she was very confrontational with Carrie. They did not get along. They butted heads a lot. And they didn't really get along. Obviously, if they're butting heads and arguing, they, they wouldn't have to get along. And she's also very rude to customers. I think she once um, rudely talked to a customer, asking them why they were getting the at-home COVID tests and pointing at them and telling them that they're the reason why everyone's lost to wear a mask. 
She never got recommended for anything she's done. I don't think he, I don't think our store manager knows how to handle people and emotions. So yeah. Also, Carrie doesn't work at our store anymore. I'm going to tell you why. One day when I was working with Carrie, she ended up having a seizure at work in front of me and our store manager. She was out for months and she ended up telling us that a lot of it was from the stress of our job and specifically Sandra. When she finally came back to us, she did end up transferring because she couldn't work with Sandra. And honestly, I think the wrong one left. I wish Carrie was still working with us. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about my ticks. Okay, so, next red flag. Our store manager constantly changes the schedule and doesn't ask us at all if we're available, doesn't even take that into consideration if we are available. Like he'll just, he'll just go up and just X things out, change the hours, add hours, take away hours, literally anything. It has literally happened many times. It's, it's the most annoying thing. And we're also not always allowed to have our days off. Usually we get called in. We're supposed to be on call at all times. We have to answer our phone whenever he calls us. And typically he doesn't like it if we say no or that we have plans, which we literally have to do or else we would literally be working almost every day. He also gives us more tasks than we can handle in one night because there's usually two people who close, the closer and the helper. Usually it's either a shift or a cashier, but most of the time it's a shift or a cashier, less of the time. So we had truck yesterday and I had come in at six o'clock and I was supposed to work until 10. He left around 7.30. And mind you, there were still four, probably four and a half stacks of totes that I needed to get done in those four hours, about five to six totes high, full of food. 7.30 rolls around. My boss is starting to get ready to leave. Because there was three of us there at that time, point, point in time, because he was trying to do his stuff too. But he was, he was going to leave. And he literally was like, Amber, why haven't you gotten more done? You're being really slow. I had only been there for an hour and a half. And there was a lot left for me to do. And he expected me to have already gotten more done. I'm like, sorry. One, I was feeling sick. Two, I was dealing with an allergic reaction. Three, I couldn't breathe. That was a really terrible day for me. And I still finished that, all those tips by the end of the night, surprisingly. But back to the back to the story. I started hating my job when my boss told me that I wasn't allowed to have my birthday vacation to Disney. At that point, I had already invested over $2,000 into that trip. It was, it's going to be for my 21st birthday. And I've only been to Disney once when I was 10 and I was an angry little kid, very moody. I, I was not having it. So it's like I've never really experienced Disney. So I started crying. <laughs> He basically said that there was nothing he could do because there are blackout dates in December. A lot of companies do have blackout dates in December. But I found out later that only applies to full-time employees, not part-time. Like me, a part-time. But yes, 
I was crying, not because I couldn't go, but because I would be losing over $2,000. That's a lot of money to me. I worked hard. Me and my mom, we both worked hard to put money into our trip. And when he saw me crying, he was like, oh, why are you crying? Like, really? Why am I crying? I don't know, maybe because you're denying my vacation? You're denying my birthday and you don't care? I mean, it's not your job to care, but still no empathy? I seriously don't think he, he understands emotions. Especially when we have emotional reactions. Because we are all human, you know? Even though he took off a whole month to go to his country. A whole month. But I, I can't have my, my one week. No, definitely not. And from there, it's only gotten worse. Let's fast forward to present time. We're down to four shifts. Me, Brandy, and Sandra, and another one who only works a few mornings a week because she has a little, a little child. So about two weeks ago, at the end of like, probably around the beginning of October, probably October 1st, honestly, he found out that he has COVID and so does his whole family after he had been around us with no mask. So he was going to be out the entire next week. Santa was also on vacation. Me and Brandy ended up having to open and close the store most of the week. Besides the few, one few days that the other shift opened the store. One of the ca we had two cashiers that we hired. Two. One of them wanted to pick and choose her hours. And then she would call out for any other days that she didn't feel like working. She only worked probably like two or three days of that week. Maybe less. And they were like short shifts. Like I closed with her like one day of that week. The other one, he said around the same time that our store manager went out that he needs to get tested for COVID. He no called, no showed for the rest of the week. We could not get a hold of him. It was literally terrible because we were opening and closing almost every day working I was working about six to 10 hour shifts every day. And one, it literally sucked. Two, it literally sucked. And three, I wanted to die at, at the end of that week. I only had one day off. And that was t that's t on Tuesday, October 5th. Today's my first day off since that. And it is currently October 15th. And I'm supposed to be off till Monday. Guess who already got asked to work? <laughs> this one, and uh, I said no. But Sandra ended up working 60 hours that week. Full timers aren't supposed to go over 40 hours a week. Part timers aren't supposed to go over 25 hours a week. I worked 40 hours that week. It sucked as a part timer. Like, we're not even getting, I'm not even getting paid full time pay. Like, we were stressed, we were overworked, and at this point, we've had it up to here. If my hand is out of the frame, that's how bad it is. So, they come back this week, like, beginning of this week. And boy, did it get ten times worse. So, Sandra is trying to demand hours and trying to get things done her way. Like literally after we had organized stuff to go on to the truck that we were getting, that we got on Thursday, we had all of our like product withdrawals and damages all organized and she redid everything in the back to her liking. 
after our store manager said it was already fine before she changed it. But no, she had to go ahead and change it. Sandra was not happy. Like, Sandra? Why? Brandy was not happy about that. That literally pissed her off. And it, would've, it pissed me off too, because that's, that's just not your place. But that's not it. Like, when is it ever at my work? It's literally getting worse by the day. We ended up finding carts and carts of outdates. Her section is food, candy, warm juices. We found carts and carts filled to the top of candy, food, warm juices. You wanna know why she leaves those outdates there? Because it would mess up her BOH. Just let that sink in. She's okay with people eating expired food. She's okay with it. So yeah, her sh her section was given to me. And I'm still finding outdates to this day. Literally yesterday. And my store manager even told me, stop looking for outdates. We need to focus on truck. And I'm like, but these are expired. Expired. I could get in trouble for selling people expired food and expired products in general. He's like, well, we're supposed to be working on a truck. I don't have expired food, expired OTC products in my section. We have to focus on truck. Leave the outdates till next week. And I was like, okay, okay. Sure, fine, cool. Later that day, found one of his OTCs. Guess what, it was outdated. <laughs> Joke's on him. <laughs> but yeah, her section was given to me, which I'm really happy about because I'm really good at finding out, finding out dates. And she's not happy about it because she's given one aisle now and one other aisle that only has one little itty bitty section that can go expired and that's pet needs. And I had already cleared out all those outdates anyways. So they're good for right now. She's not, she's not happy about that because it's her section. Just like she has a specific scanner that if anyone uses, she gets mad at and calls it her scanner. She also has a parking place that she calls her parking place. Yeah, she almost hit Brandy's car while Brandy was in it. And the only way that she wouldn't have is when Brandy started honking the horn. Yet, Sandra's mad at her for that. But anyways. Next week's schedule came out. She had four closing shifts. She wanted more opening shifts. I had three opening shifts. I have three opening shifts that week. She wasn't happy about that. She told her store manager that I shouldn't have opening shifts because she had only closing shifts when she first got her keys. She said that she's been there for a year and a half and that I should be closing for a year before I'm allowed to open. This is after she just came back from vacation. I don't think you have any room to talk when you just came back for vacation and me and Brandy literally busted our butts for this company. And while you just sat at home and lounged, like, sorry. So, <laughs> next. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have one more story from Sandra. One time. I was doing deposit and I had a little issue with our self checkouts. It was, I think, it had only a few cents that needed to be put into deposit. Typically, we don't worry about the change because it's hard to take change out of a self checkout, at least ours. That's just how we do it. So I asked her for help. Big mistake, literally, big mistake. 
and just to make sure I, I've done deposit many times I have a way that I like to do it I have a setup that is comfortable for me Shaylee walked in started changing my setup to how she likes it and then she completely messed it up I I would have gotten in trouble with Brinks for it if I didn't figure out how to fix it. She had put in that we had grabbed those scents out of the drawer. We were so she was we were literally supposed to put zero that we took no money out, so I'd be a negative those scents. She put in the amount of those scents, thinking that that was correct, even though I literally told her that is not correct. And I ended up being right. But I was actually, and she even completed it. Literally hit F9 to complete. Thank God I could go back in and update it with the correct zero, like I originally thought it was, but asked her for confirmation. Now to the final part. I was supposed to start training for pharmacy tech months and months ago. I was even told when I was hired that I was going to cross train for pharmacy tech. Never happened. But then when we hired the cashier named Mally, she's the one who was trying to pick and choose her hours. But I digress. She wanted to train for pharmacy tech too. Like that's what she wanted to be. She wanted to eventually go to school to be a pharmacist. And. Our store manager tells her, no, she has to be a shift supervisor before she can be a pharmacy tech, cross-chain candidate. So she went over his head to our pharmacy trainer and asked if she could cross-chain for pharmacy tech. She said yes. She even gave her the application, enrolled her in the training program through our company, and then our store manager found out about it. He wasn't happy. So he pushed for me to get my application for pharmacy tech in. And you know what? I declined it. I'm going to college in like three months. I don't have time. I don't have enough time to finish that and take boards before January. Like, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So he tried to cancel her application. He couldn't. So his next step was to get Sandra into the pharmacy's tech training position so that Maui couldn't cross train for pharmacy tech. I'll just screw her over. I think we, me and Brandy have both told her, you gotta do what you gotta do to get what you want and to get where you want to be. And lastly, finally, the last thing was told to me was that our lovely, lovely coworker, Brandy, she's applying to be an operations manager in our company. She'll be absolutely perfect for her. She is literally one of the most amazing workers ever. But our store manager said that as long as she works for him, she won't, he won't let her go. As long as she works for him, he won't let her go. He also said that he put, put the new boy, the one who no called no showed for, for the whole week as operations manager before her. Yeah, our store manager is best friends with the dad of that boy. I literally can't wait to put in my two weeks. I literally, I cannot wait. Like eight more weeks, eight more weeks of this hell. Wish me luck guys, literally wish me luck. And said company, if you see this and you want to fire me for this, that means you condone what's happening at my store. Bye.
yeah.